Exploring the phrase, God's Disciple, a guide to understanding its meaning. Hello, everyone. In today's video, we're going to dive into the meaning and usage of the phrase, God's Disciple. This phrase, rich in its connotations, is often encountered in various contexts. So, if you're ready to expand your understanding of English phrases, especially those with a religious or spiritual dimension, let's get started. The phrase, God's disciple, is composed of two key elements, God and disciple. Let's break them down. God, in most contexts, this refers to a supreme being or deity, central to many religions. Disciple, this term generally means a follower or student of a teacher, leader, or philosopher. When combined, God's disciple refers to someone who follows or adheres to the teachings and guidance of God. This phrase is deeply rooted in religious and spiritual contexts, often implying a sense of devotion, commitment, and spiritual pursuit. Understanding God's disciple requires a bit of historical and cultural context. This phrase is commonly found in religious texts and discussions, particularly within Christianity. However, the concept of being a disciple of a higher power is present in many world religions. In Christianity, for example, discipleship involves following the teachings of Jesus Christ. It denotes a lifestyle of learning from and adhering to the teachings of Jesus, often involving spreading those teachings to others. In modern times, the phrase, God's disciple, can be interpreted in various ways. Religiously, it retains its traditional meaning of someone devoted to God's teachings. Metaphorically, in non-religious contexts, it can metaphorically suggest someone who is extremely devoted to a cause or an ideal, almost with religious fervor. God's disciple has been used in literature and media to convey characters or individuals with a deep sense of morality, purpose, or devotion. It's a powerful phrase that can add depth and nuance to storytelling. I hope this exploration of the phrase, God's disciple, has been enlightening. Whether you encounter it in religious texts, literature, or everyday conversation, you now have a deeper understanding of its implications and uses. Thanks for watching, and stay curious about the fascinating world of language.